हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंत्र कुमार दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो इन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट डैशबोर्ड वीडियो सीरीज इन द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट आई हैव गिवन द डेमो ऑफ दिस ब्यूटीफुल प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट डैशबोर्ड एंड आई हैव आल्सो एक्सप्लेन्ड अबाउट द डेटा सेटिंग शीट एंड द सपोर्ट शीट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट दीज ब्यूटीफुल ग्राफ्स एंड विजुलाइजेशन ऑफ डैशबोर्ड सीट टैब now in this video you will learn how to create this beautiful dynamic gantt chart in this gantt chart i have highlighted dynamic weekend you can see in gray color these are the weekend and the holiday will be in dark gray color for the completed task we have displayed in green and in progress we have displayed in yellow and pending we have displayed in red we have used two different scroll bar one is this horizontal scroll bar which is used to scroll the dates the second is this vertical scroll bar which is used to scroll the task you can see here all right so now i will tell you how can you create this using this data sheet and few formulas so let's start first of all i would like to remove the protection from this worksheet so i'll go to the review and i will unprotect this worksheet so now it is unprotected because i have not put any password in the protection all right now first of all i'll tell you how can you create these two scroll bar so just go to the developer tab insert and go to the form control then here you can see this is the scroll bar to create the horizontal scroll bar you just need to drag the scroll bar like this and to create the vertical scroll bar you just need to drag the scroll bar like this vertically so same scroll bar can be horizontal as well as the vertical also now right click on the scroll bar go to the format control and you can link it with any one cell like this and then if you will scroll it then the value of that cell will be changed you can change the maximum value whatever you want to keep here now let me delete this and i'll show you what value i have put on these two scroll bar so just right click go to the format control here you can see i have linked it with the t6 from here and the maximum value i have put here 1000 all right here i have changed the number format if i will change the number format as in place of custom i will take journal so you can see it is displaying if i will click here the value is getting changed similarly for this scroll bar i have used maximum value as 100 you can change it if it is required then i have connected it with the c6 from this cell if i will change the format of this cell let's say journal then you will see the number here so that number will be the current value of this scroll bar now this is the fixed text the header this one from here till here and here i have used the index formula index then i have taken the range from a to i of data sheet i'll show you the data sheet so from a to i then to get the row number i have used the value of this scroll bar plus row 1 so i have added one here because if you will see the value is starting from 1 and the first row will be the header so it should start from 2 so first of all it will add one here because we have used row formula and we have taken a1 here so next time it will be a2 then a3 so it will return row number if i will press f9 then you can see it will return 3 all right so it is returning the value using the index formula the same formula we have used here you can see the column number we have used 1 here then here we have used 2 then 6 then 7 8 and the 9 so we have used the relevant column or we could have used the match function also now here in the date column we have used the eo month eo month then we have used data f2 and we have fixed it so f2 is the let me show you the f2 value f2 is the first value of the start date so it is taking the first value of the start date then we have used the eo month and minus 1 so let me explain you this formula let's say here i am using this formula eo month then i'll go to the data sheet 
I will take the first date of the first task. Then I am using minus 1. Then what it will return? It is returning the 31st December. So basically, so it is returning the last date of previous month. So this is the Jan 19. So previous month will be December 19. So last date will be this one. If I will add plus 1 here, then it will return the first date of this month. So whatever date will be available here, it will always give you the first date of this month. So here we have used the same formula. Now we are adding the value, this value. If this value is 0, then that means this value is 0. So we will add 0. So it will return the first chain. That means we have not clicked on the scroll bar. As soon as we will click once, then it will return 2, 3 like this. Alright friends, so let me delete this and put the same column width here. So let me move this here. Now I will tell you how we have used this progress bar here. To use this progress bar, we have simply used conditional formatting. And in the conditional formatting, we have used the data bar. And we have simply used the gradient fill. Now here, let me show you the what all conditional formatting I have used here. Alt OD. To open the conditional formatting rule manager, we have used here these five conditional formatting. So first of all, we have used the pending, then in progress, then completed, then weekend and then holiday. All right. So let me delete all the conditional formatting from here and then apply. So you can see it is blank, but this is not actually blank. I'll show you. If I will change the format, it is custom, I'll take journal, then you can see here some value is available. What is this value? Let me show you. It is in progress. So basically, I have put a formula here. And what is that formula? So let me show you that one also. Here, I have put if, then end, and then F8. F8 is the start date. So let me display the heading first so that it will be easy to understand all right so now here i will show you if f8 this start date is less than or equal to this j7 then the second condition is g8 which is the end date is equal to and greater than j7 that means if this date is coming between these two dates in that case it will return the value of status this one otherwise it will be blank so here you can see this is third gen third gen is not coming between fourth and ninth so it is blank now here fourth is coming between these two because this is fourth so it is putting here completed similarly here also now tenth is not coming between these two so it is blank same formula we have applied the others now to hide these number what we have done we have used custom formatting and here we have put thrice semicolon so it will be hidden then we have used conditional formatting simply press alt od then click on new rule and here format only cells that contain equal to so first of all let's say for pending then format and go to the fill effects and here we have taken this red and some dark red and let's say we have taken this one okay okay now next we can use the same for in progress also format fill effects take this color and some lighter color then you can take this format and the last one we can take for completed here we can take this green color, some light green, take this one. Now you can see it is highlighting the color accordingly. If we will click here, it will be changed because the formula will be changed and condition formatting will be changed. But here if you will see there is no weekend highlighted, no holiday highlighted. To highlight the weekend, what we can do? We can check what is the weekend here. So weekend is Sunday because it is by here then N and here Saturday is also weekend. So let me show you how can you use that. We can use simply VLOOKUP function VLOOKUP 
then we can use the text function text and we can get the day of this day use ddd comma we can use the vlookup from here this range just freeze this comma 2 comma 0 so it is returning n if it will return y then we should highlight the date otherwise we should not highlight the date so let me copy this formula and we will select this range press alt od click on new rule then go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format and paste this formula here and we will put equal to by if the result of this vlookup is by then we should highlight this and this j saving value the row should be fixed so we will put a dollar sign here go to the format and here we will highlight this in some light gray color this one and just click on ok apply you can see the weekend saturday sunday is highlighted now if i will go to the support sheet i want to say my weekend will be sunday only i don't want to keep weekend as saturday then i can put here n if i will go to the weekend then you can see only one day is highlighted you can change the weekend according to your requirement now i'll tell you how can you highlight the holiday so to highlight the holiday we can use the formula match and then we can simply match this date into the holiday list so we can take the entire column comma zero it will give some value if this date is not available there then it will give error so we can check is error and just close this all right so if it will return error then it should not highlight if it is not returning error then it should highlight so let me put this conditional formatting here alt od new rule use a formula to determine which cell to format and paste the formula here this should return false okay if this is not error we can freeze this so just press f4 j save in we will put dollar here before save in here and now go to the format and we can take some dark color this one click on ok click on ok apply all right so we have applied the holiday also let me delete this formula let me go to the setting sheet let's say i want to put the holiday for fifth gen then i'll show you the gant so you can see the fifth gen is highlighted in dark gray all right so friends that is how you can create the dynamic gant chart using these formulas and conditional formatting and it will be purely dynamic gant chart in the next part of this video i'll tell you how can you create this resource utilization visualization so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for watching